So, I know what you're thinking. It's beer time, right? Nope. It's water time, because I gotta take a little drive up to Oklahoma. I've been working on something and a little birdie whispered in my ear this morning. Let's go. Canadian and Oklahoma that's weird but if this place looks familiar it's because it probably is uh, we've come up here before and uh, I heard from the little birdie that there's a whole bunch of birdies up here in this barn so uh, we're gonna go up here and try to buy one I'm excited yeah. I brought money we're good to go and you brought Phipps <laughs> well he's, he's not excited about he's that not talking about all that Happy holidays, everybody. It's Richard here at Gas Monkey Garage, and I'll tell you what, you got to get to gasmonkeygarage.com because we are gearing up for the holidays, and you want to get geared up. Starting November 22nd, we are going to do 25 days of Christmas, and what are you going to do on those days? We are going to go to gasmonkeygarage.com. We've got all new merch, all new bundles, all new different things that I can't even tell you how many things. we got stuff from grandma down to little itty bitty baby, okay? We are doing 25 days of Christmas like no one else has. Get to gasmonkeygarage.com right now. Woo! What's up, puppy dog? I wish I had me a good old dog around the shop. Oh, I got Fifi. <laughs> what is that? It's a 56 Packard Clipper. Oh, uh, you're selling it? You do it's going to get this <laughs> I don't know. Boat's got a boat ride. Can I go back there? Got greasy yeah. Packard hands. Right on. Hey, you doing all right, buddy? You ain't going to hurt me with a little grease. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? You got a, a bunch of weird stuff in here. Did you change to the other shop or something? Yeah, the birds, all the all the weeds right over there. Bill, Bill, Rich Ross, how you doing? Nice to meet you. What's up, guys? Right on. Cool. Cool. Because this was your shop last time I was here. Yeah, this is, this is where it was. It's disgusting. I didn't even want to come in here. Oh I yeah. Clean it up. Well, I'm not in the mood for a Pontiac Solstice. I wish oh, I was. Come on, man. You need this you Western need Hauler. What? Oh, dude, I bought one of those one time because I thought it was super cheap and super cool for what it was. Yeah. And I lost my so real. It got 50,000 miles on it. Right, it's worth about five grand. <laughs> dude, I ain't kidding. I bought one for 10 and I could never get rid of it. Really? Look at this. I saw in the video where you were driving it. Oh, dude, it's, this thing's unreal. I mean, it's scary fast. I bought it like, I think 2016. Yeah. So quite a while ago. And it was just a rusty freaking turd from, from Houston you know, down by the salt. Yeah. And uh, got it back, called AMD and ordered a bunch of sheet metal for it and slapped it together, which it was already a race car, tube chassis and all that. That's what I like about oh, it, man. Dude. You We're gotta gonna... get this ready to go yeah. up to that Chicago show next yeah. year. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. You think it'll hurt people's feelings? I don't know. I don't know, it might not be nice enough for that that place. I don't know, they're it's pretty, pretty nice. They're pretty picky. You gotta do something with the wheels though, those are pretty. I had a guy. I had a guy do the vinyl top and the billboards, and they they were gonna go ahead and bolt the go-wing spoiler on it. Well, they drilled the holes in the wrong spot, so I got to take the deck lid off and have it fixed. And then it's got an appointment with the uh, the upholster uh, shop. Gonna have all that done, and then put the glass in it and get the get the different wheels on it because those are just to move it. I mean, those are hideous. Yeah, they're hideous. On yeah. the poster, are you going to go with like stock looking seats? Stock looking. Yeah, super. Because I mean, rad. dude, I went, I mean, it's a pro street car tub and everything, but I, I went as far as to putting the wheel trim on it. I mean, trying to make it look no, like No, it's that. freaking rad. Like, yeah. What do you got to do? Trim this down? Or is that what size it would have been? That's just the way they, you know, that's just the way it came. That's the way it would have been? Yeah, ugly. That's so weird. I, I thought it would have fit the window. Oh no, yeah. It fits around the window. And then you pop these out, flip it up if you want to clean the glass. That's a, they're aluminum. That's an original Cuda uh, set of aluminum. I know, but I don't know if I wouldn't get me a really good aluminum guy to take an inch out of here and make it really fit the window. You know how much these are? 
I know that. You, you don't want to know. 2500 No, it's not that much, but it's 1000 bucks. Yeah, but if you had a good aluminum guy that made this really fit the window, it would be a lot sexier. It would. Yeah. This is right up your alley, man. You need this. <laughs> uh, I got some money this time because I ain't going away empty handed, brother. So you're either going to make me a deal or we're going to have a problem. What's up with this old freaking turd? That's my dad's first Harley he ever bought. He learned to ride on that thing. It's, okay. 80, it's an 85, uh, I don't even remember what it is, XR or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a Harley it's guy. The same, uh, it's the same bike they made, uh, but it was an 84, I think, that they made the that's, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man bike out of. Oh, really? Yeah, I got one, mate. That's the last year of the Kickstart, too. Does it kick in electric? Yes. So I was telling the, the camera on the way up here that I, I, there's a barn full of birds. Well, two birds, one Daytona. Oh yeah, so, I know. Same thing. You Mopar guys get real upset when this gets referred to as yeah, a bird. It happens a lot. Whoa, golly, look at that. This thing is 69 about... Dodge Daytona, one of 503, one of 139 four-speed cars. And this one of two V2 Hemi Orange with white interior and a four-speed. And now, to believe, believe to be the only one known with a buddy seat, which, and the four speed, which is kind of cool. So your girl can slide over next so to you. So this was the first wing car, right? Yes. So 69, yes. and yes. they made 500 of them? They built, they, everyone says 503, some people say less than that. Uh, so. But only 100 and some odd four speed cars. 139 four speed cars, yep. So most of them are automatics. I mean, most of the ones you find are automatics. So, and then there's only, there's a guy named Daniel uh, Limberent, and he runs the registry. And he's he's documented 360 something Daytonas. And he says there's not much more than that. Either ones got destroyed or what, but he, so we don't. We, we don't. A lot. Yeah, yeah. That's worth a little bit. Now you're taking it up to uh, this show. What is it called, McCann? Mu Muscle Car Corvette Nationals in Rosemont, Illinois, and it's going to be it's going to be right up in front uh, at the red carpet display, right when you walk in the convention center. Now, in your humble opinion, since you own it, where in the line of the best ones in the world is this one? Yeah, everyone that has one thinks theirs is the best in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this one's not. I mean, it's not. There's. You know, it's an older restoration and all that, but but it's bad it's ass, a, man. it's all original sheet metal. It's numbers matching, two bill sheets, uh, all kinds of stuff. Well, I thought that the mufflers are key. Uh, yes, the, that's factory. Yep. And then what's up with the green bird? This is seventy. Yeah, that's a green automatic, non-numbers super bird FJ5 limelight green. Had a little uh, regal in the fenders up there. Yeah, this one's, it's a driver. Dad, got it, dude. Okay, so you got the car of your dreams, and now I got to talk you out of the car of my dreams. This is a 1970 Superbird um, bucket seat, four speed, pistol grip, 440. Um, just super cool car. I've always wanted to get Superbird, but I want to be able to drive it. Uh, and this one's proven, built, driven. He's had it for a few years. And uh, obviously he bought a half a million dollar Daytona over there. So let's see if we can talk him out of it. Those ones are grandma's, day, uh, grandma's super birds. This one's, this one's ready to party. You believe all the sheet metal to be correct? That is, uh, here, Do you think it's you. been patched I, or? I was gonna show you. I wanna show you. What about that. floorboards and trunk pans? Trunk pans, original. What about floorboards are original. 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 It so, says original top. We hadn't been cut it's out. Original top. There's, on all the Mopars, on all the B bodies, there is a number right here and that number is supposed to match that van and as you can see it does i, I mean, got you eight seven one forget what it says on the front zero eight seven one and it matches the the uh the van on the dash the fender tag the door sticker here you think this is having it still has the original door sticker so you think it's had work right up in there? Like a blowout or something? It has. You can feel it. It's kind of rough. Maybe it has. Yeah. I mean, I think somebody's been doing some burnouts. <laughs> it, it does that very well. It does that very well. 
So, how, when you bought the car, what did you? What have you done to it since then? Or did you restore it? Or no, no. I, I just did a lot of cleaning on it and uh, put the motor in it. Uh, the transmission was the original transmission, numbers matching transmission. So basically, just put the motor in it and cleaned it up. We're gonna spend money and then make sure it's what we want. Right this is a lot. You were talking about that first year. They had to have 500 to make it a NASCAR type car, right? It had to be. Titles in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Well, should we go for a ride? I'm still looking, man. Calm down. <laughs> okay. the, the ride will sell it. You're right, won't it? Is this weird aluminum panel down here, Richard? Yes. It's so weird. It is. And it then is. what about the paint, the white paint on the inside of the fenders? On the inside of the fender wells, where you, it's painted white. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. To the that's back, is that what it's supposed to be? Right here? Yeah. Yeah. And this is rubber. They, they had to put those on there to pass inspection. Yeah. I mean, they, they had to have a bumper of some sort. I mean, that thing ain't gonna do shit for you. But. And it's the steel nose. Don't wreck that thing. That thing's 20 grand for a nose. The motor though, what'd you do to it? It is a, my buddy Sean down in Durant, Oklahoma, put this motor together. It's a 70 HP block with aluminum metal brock performer heads, uh, roller rockers, uh, stroker motor. I mean, it's freaking 525 horsepower, MSD ignition, which I hid the MSD box inside the nose here. Yeah, 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 cool. And so that way it's not bolted on the firewall like people did, you know, back in the 90s or whatever, but. You know, try to keep it clean under here. So rad, dude. So. Does the horn work? Yeah. Beep, fuck beep. Yeah. Beep, beep. <laughs> That's the coolest part. It has to work. If the horn doesn't work, it's not a super bird. So the vents on the fenders are just looky loose. Yeah, the day, Daytonas are functional. Super birds are not. Where does the function go? Back the when, when they were racing these cars, they were getting they had a problem with getting so much air pressure underneath. That that's an air extractor to bring the air out. So it's pulling air out. It's pulling air out. And this, even these little pieces of trim right here are super burden Daytona specific. Now, this is aluminum, right? Yeah. Now I've seen pictures, you know, back in the day with you, girls you sitting up on here. You need to sit your woman on there and get a picture. Now she's like 110 pounds, so is that going to be all right? I spit on this. <laughs> and I'm like 220. And I, I've seen people, there's, a, there's an old picture of a, 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 a guy and his wife, their marriage picture is standing on their, their wing. So, yeah, they can handle like a thousand pounds of downforce. That's why those, that's why those uh, structure pieces are in the trunk. So the tires look like they might be a little dated. Are they older? Or is it just They're weird? new. They're new, it, you know, they, them good years are hard to keep clean. Well, those are those tire stickers, right? Yes. Yeah, they're hard. They're cool though. Yeah, they look. They make the car, man. I got. Uh, I took. I took it to. I took this car to the Muscle Car Corvette Nationals last year, just like this, and there was original birds with the little Goodyear polyglass. You I know, hate that. And this car got twice the attention because of those freaking wheels. Everyone, I uh, there's a guy that has a million dollar Hemi Superbird. He's like, I'm gonna put those on my car. <laughs> I mean, he just loved it. Why not, right? Because this looks like the stock car, like the NASCAR. Yeah. Now, that's what it sells me on the look too. You got a set of stock wheels for it, or would it would, would they have been bias ply? They would have been bias ply. Yeah. Bias ply with dog dishes. Bias ply. This car came. With, I think this car is coded for the uh, the uh, little 14 inch road wheels. Little, that's insane. Yeah, it's it's stupid. That this is looks crazy. Better. But everyone puts the rallies on it, the 15 by 7 rallies with the trim rings and all that. But all right. Um, I guess it's go for a ride time. I already know about what range we're in money wise. I'm gonna have to choke that down. Here we go. Since I ran that MSD ignition, that coil and all that all that uh, stuff's real hot. So I had a, I put a coil switch right here that kills the coil. Okay. Just because I didn't want to burn up the original harness. That makes sense. All right, let's fucking party. Give her a little granny cruise for a second. Let her get warmed up. Yeah. This little 
bridge is pretty rough right here. I'm glad I'll do with all this bank land. We, we, we build, we build hay on it. Oh, okay. Sometimes turn cows out on it. So why is there a dude over here and another over there? That's that's just the way they did it. Because some of these would have the remote mirror. Oh, okay. This one doesn't. down the drag strip at the uh, Mopar show up here. Oh, no kidding? Yeah. This car runs 12s. Our fun gas. That's not bad. Not bad for a 4,000 pound freaking paperweight. from here. Try not to cry. Don't cry. It ain't done yet. <laughs> I got. I got to figure out if I, if I got enough money. <laughs> oh, come on now. 
Woo! That is a uh, bad dude. I mean, or a bad bird, but it's but it's a good bird. Super, what am I trying to say? Super chicken. Super chicken. <laughs> Got me, dude. All right. You know you need it. I know I need it. You're gonna have some uh, Richard Petty vibes down there in Dallas. Um. Yeah, but I don't want to pay two thirty. Okay. It's rad, and it looks better than one, but it isn't quite original with the wheels. No, it's tires, not. But it's original, rad. Original sucks. Original does suck. Huh. I can't imagine yeah. trying to go that fast in, a, in, a, no. in one of my splice. No. I don't know, man. What's the deal of the day, dude? Two hundred, and you take it home. Damn it, that was my number. I don't even get to bargain now. What do you think, Fifth? I'm trying to make a deal over here He's and you're trying. looking at a Studebaker. <laughs> uh, what, what do I think? He's a 200. 200? He's like, oh shit, oh. that's too much. That's more than my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my house too, that's the problem. But if you live in this, it's a lot cooler. All right, man, 200, you got it. It's All right, man. Work. That'll work. Cash works? Yeah. Let me get the work. cash. Gas monkey deals in cash. So here's the first deposit. All right. And I gotta go get the rest. Because I didn't want to roll around good. with that much. All right, man. Thanks for the deal, man. All right. Now, we need to take the now the hard part, we gotta get it loaded. Wow. Yeah. Phipps, how does this thing work? Not sure. You better figure it out. You said you were sure. This is my first and only ever super buy. Are he buy? Yeah. Super bird buy. Can you believe that? I'm so nervous. I'm almost shaking. Got to make it right though. Make it rain. Boom! Right there. So that's a good deal, man. Thanks for the deal. Appreciate it. All right, man. And uh, Mopar's right, 5150. I get a beer and a ride, right? You get a beer and a ride. Right. Mopar's 5150 was cool enough to come up here because he's always hanging out. But yeah, it, we got a deal at 250, right? Yep. Let's Go do it. Your shop, man. I'll drop it off. Cash money. Thanks. My buddy Paul down in Texas, uh, he uh, bought a Superbird. He knew I was looking for one, and he found two Superbirds. This one and a Petty Blue car that Tony and his boss bought. And uh, this car had a 426 Hemi in it. It was scattered. The motor was blown up. And I bought the car sitting in a warehouse covered in dust. Yanked the motor out, sold the Hemi to put me in the car better, and then bought that motor for my buddy Sean. Put it together. Drove it, took it to Macaque and had fun with it. Took it to, even drove it down the drag strip once. And uh, I basically got rid of it to get the holy grail for me, that Daytona in there. So yeah. that's why I had to do it, is to yeah. get the Daytona. Straps off first, bung them up, pack them like we're supposed to be in the box. Now, these are actually out of your... Okay, yes sir. They go in the other trailer? They're big one. We didn't have There's any only, of this? There was only one. All right, put the straps where they belong, and then let's lower it down and I'll pull it off. So, uh, I'm pretty stoked. This is uh, the actual first Superbird I've ever owned. Uh, I like this car. I've liked it for a long time. It's a very honest, original type car uh, with a hopped up motor. So, uh, bucket seat, four speed, pistol grip. I mean, you can't ask for more. And, you know, some people like the big bright colors, the greens and the oranges and the yellows and what have you. But I just think this car looks so pitch and, and just white, white wall tires, just like this. I mean, it's set up right. Uh, this one's going in the new collection. Where are you going? Taking this thing home. 